Hey, now this is more like it. It's beautiful, Scree. Rather more to your taste than Solom, eh? You said it. Just caught the sunset, too. Wow. The skies are always golden here. Okay, okay, we'll write the brochure later. We're on business. Precisely. Come on, then. Let's head for the water. As in us in the water? Naturally. Uh-huh. Um, one thing you should know, Scree. The girl can't swim. You can't swim? Oh. And you can, I suppose, a great hunk of rock? I don't need to swim. Why go to all that trouble? I just sink to the bottom and walk. This I must see. Aquis is a water-filled realm, Jen. I, I was rather hoping... Well, I thought you mortals were... Yeah, well, the city I'm from isn't a water-filled realm, okay? Of course, most parents took the trouble to get their kids out swimming. Some even went horse riding, too. Girl Scouts, tap classes. With me, you get none of that extracurricular crap, okay? I'm sorry. What is that sound? I'm not sure, but I believe it's coming from the middle of the lagoon, wouldn't you say? Guess so. You know, the Undyne are a very cultured race, aquatic creatures, intelligent, great allies to Arella. Like you say, intelligent. And I gather they're extremely resourceful. Aquis isn't naturally the easiest place for them to survive. Hmm, you may have guessed. I'm not a total expert on this realm, so maybe I should do a little exploring and uh, report back. Sure. I'll just settle down here and take in some rays. Good luck, Rocky. Hmm. Sink and walk. Wait till they get that in the Olympics. Vortex certainly creates a strong current. If it was going the other way, I could reach the room above.
Hello, can you hear me? I said hello, hey, can you hear me? Inokawa and Scree. Hello, Scree. I am Aino. Aino? Oh, so you share a name with the queen of the realm. That's right, isn't it? You undine have a queen, Aino. Oh, stupid, what a fool. Please, please forgive my rudeness, Highness. I did not think a queen would be here, Highness. I... What the fan is this contraption? There is no way in, Scree. Well, how do you get out, then? This is my prison cell, Scree. I am to remain in here until the time of my sacrifice. You're to be killed? But why? A malady has fallen upon our people. A terrible plague of the body and mind. Almost all of my people have succumbed. But not I. It was decided that I be placed in this machine to appease the Leviathans, the gods of the sea. That's terrible. It is an honor. What greater way to serve my people? This was your choice? It was King Adaro's decree. My husband was one of the first to fall to the plague. I am prepared for my fate, Scree. Forgive my impertinence, but it is superstitious nonsense to suppose that your death could remedy a disease. Surely your realm would be better served by discovering the source. Is there some contagion? Something tainting the water, perhaps? Unlikely. The water in our lagoons is filtered through vast machines. I can't let you die like this. Let me try to free you. Please let my companion and I try to get to the bottom of all this. Ah, one thing, Your Majesty. My companion is ill-equipped for life in your world. I had to leave her on the surface. One of the dry ones. Yes, immortal. You know how fussy they are about breathing. Put your hand to the glass, Scree. 